Yeah? Okay, I want a bite now. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, I want to tell you about the best meal I've ever had in my whole life. And I'm talking about Bistro Paul Bear. Would you agree it was pretty dang good? Really good. Yeah, so when I realized that we were going to Paris for our vacation, I got really excited because I've been wanting to go to this bistro for years. Uh, a lot of famous chefs talk about this bistro, um, especially Anthony Bourdain. He says, if you ever go to Paris, even for a short period of time, and you want to get an authentic French cuisine bistro experience without going completely broke, go to Paul Bear. Now, don't get me wrong, it wasn't super cheap, but it also wasn't, you know, $400 a plate, where I hear some of those famous restaurants actually charge that much. And we would treat ourselves to one magnificent French bistro dinner. So let us show you how it went. They have the menus on chalkboards and they have an English menu. They could tell we were, you know, American, Canadian, whatever from a mile away. Yeah. I already knew that I wanted to get the steak with the bourbon and peppercorn sauce because that's what they're famous for. But Joe took the prefixed menu and took a look at it and that's what you went with. What'd you get? Oh yeah, because you were able to choose um, was an appetizer, a main, and then a dessert. Or cheese. Or cheese. For yeah, the dessert. Right. You, could do, right. you could do fromage or dessert. I end up getting the calamari, the squid. Um, Not for me. Delicious, you know, I love <laughs> seafood. Um, it looked great, tasted wonderful. Um, big portion. It was a big portion. Uh, it was pretty filling. I was afraid that I was gonna be too full to enjoy the rest of the meal, but I was able to power through, so. And it was pretty. I don't yeah. even, I don't like seafood, unfortunately. I wish I did, but I don't. Uh, yeah, he does. He eats enough for the both of us. But it was pretty. It was a yeah. really gorgeous, like all the, you know, the little French touches with the oil and the acid and the, and the garnishes. Mm -hmm. It looked good. It was, um, tasted great. Um, you know, I never had calamari like that before, so it was a uh, nice treat, you know. I picked it because um, I wanted seafood, so I had to have some seafood there mm -hmm. while I was in the, um, enjoying the the menu. The ambiance. And then your main? Um, duck. Um, I was impressed. He says, I'm gonna get this. And I said, oh, it's the duck confit. Yeah, something different. Um, I don't have duck that often. Um, if I do, it's usually when we're having dim sum, I'll get like- That's true. I'll get a little, yeah. uh, like a, duck leg or a wing or some portion of the duck and that's it you know? and duck confit is cooked in duck fat so it's the <laughs> duckiest Delicious. of the duck that you could ever duck ducking good <laughs> it was ducking good yeah it, it was it was really good i, I liked it a lot yeah he was quite impressed i didn't Tasty. hear he, he didn't speak to me or lila for a good no. eight minutes i was busy he was busy. was busy i do have to admit though my steak blew my mind you uh dream about a place or you have a special place you've always want to try and i had heard about it so many times on the food network and i was like okay it, it'll it'll probably be fantastic but i've built it up in my head too much which you know a lot of us often do but it was the best steak i've ever had in my entire life like it was embarrassing i wanted to lick the plate it was so good <laughs> And then for dessert, I got the Paris Bress, which is like, um, it looks like a donut filled with hazelnut and praline cream, and it was really good. But Joe got something that really surprised me. Yeah, I got the, um, oh my gosh, I forgot. It's a souffle. Souffle, yeah, it was, I just know that they're hard to make because we'll watch cooking shows and part of the contest will be making a souffle. And you know, half the time it's all runny or it's like, falls yeah, or yeah. there's all kinds of issues. And so um, when you order souffle, you gotta like um, let them know right away because it takes some time to... Which was fine. We were there for oh, a long yeah. time. Oh yeah, we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. But it was really good. I never had one before and I was like, I want to try one of these. Yeah. I, it did not disappoint at all. Yeah. Same. So I had heard that it's a good idea to make reservations because this restaurant is constantly booked. Not weeks in advance, but a couple days advance. And we got our table for, it yeah. was late, it was later than I would think. And when we got there, the restaurant empty. had like two other tables uh, and that was it. And I was just kind of slightly disappointed for a second where I was like, oh, maybe we're here, 
you know, past its prime. It's not like the glory that it once was that I've seen in all these videos. And then by the time our appetizers came out, it was packed. <laughs> our drove was it filled, filled up. Sorry, I didn't mean to spit on you. You saw that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there was every single table was taken, and you just hear the din and people speaking French and English. It was just bustling and full of life. And we happened to sit right by the wine refrigerator, so we saw these gorgeous bottles of wine coming out. We had ordered wine. Mm -hmm. We had our appetizers. The bread was amazing. It was in heaven. It was. It definitely lived up to the experience I thought it was going to and the food was incredible and I liked the souffle a lot better than than you were what you yeah, got yeah I'm not a sweets person and I ordered it just to order um oh and I got a cappuccino because oh, it, yeah. it was really good. Are good but the souffle we should point out was not cheese or chocolate it was Grand Marnier mm. so a little bit of a kick to it we left it like 10 o'clock, yeah, it, it was still packed. Yeah, I yeah. mean, people were eating and having a good old time and uh, it was really nice. And then, um, yeah, we enjoyed it. So we're at Paul Bear <clears throat> and Joe's dessert just came out. And I just admitted to him that I've never in my life. It's coming soon. Oh, merci. Um, I've never had a souffle before, and Joe said that he's never had a souffle before either. And look at this. This is going to be our first souffle ever together. So, honey, what kind of souffle is that? I don't know. It's a Grand Marnier. Oh, yeah, Grand Marnier. I forgot already. Grand Marnier. See, too much wine. No, Joe doesn't ask questions. Grand Marnier. I eat first, ask questions later. Souffle. Is this your first souffle? Sure, yes. Okay, take a bite. Let's see. Whatever you want. Oh. oh. That looks so good. Oh wow, it's like... Hey, <coughs> all of it. Why? Well, what are your thoughts? It's good, it's like, like custard, kind of flan, kind of fluffy thing going on here. Nice. It's good. Cute. Yeah? Okay, I want a bite now. Mm. So out of all three dishes, you had your squid appetizer, and your duck confit main, mm. and your Grand Marnier yes. dessert. Which one was your favorite? I have to choose? Yes. Okay, I'll say the souffle. The souffle was your favorite? Yes. And you had never had one before? Nope. Isn't that amazing? Well, because it tastes like custard meat. And eggs, but isn't that amazing you try something new and how much you love it? Yeah. I have great respect for this restaurant. I like the duck too. <laughs> I just couldn't finish everything. Oh. If you like our content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, just so you can get notifications uh, anytime we have new content coming out. And please check out our website and check out the blogs. You have to. Yes. Bon appetit. Check it out, vlogs! I forgot what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm.